If you've had chemotherapy, you may have also had a drug called Nulasta or its cousin, Nupogen. So what is Nulasta? What does it do? Why is it necessary? Why does it potentially make your bones hurt? And if so, what can you do about it? I'm cancer physical therapy specialist, Dr. Leslie Wolke, and in this episode of The Recovery Room, we're talking about cytotoxic chemotherapy-induced myelosuppression. Wait, what? Let's clear that up. All right, so let's break down those terms, beginning with cytotoxic chemotherapy. Well, you are probably already familiar with the term chemotherapy, which is defined as the treatment of disease with chemical substances. Now, cytotoxic which means to kill cells, which is why these drugs are used against many types of cancer. So these drugs are called cytotoxic chemotherapy. Now, most cytotoxic chemotherapies are designed to kill rapidly dividing cells. And unfortunately, the cells of our bloodstream, red cells, white cells, and platelets, also rapidly divide. So they too get clobbered by many of the chemotherapy drugs. So now let's define myelosuppression. Milo is the prefix for marrow, which is where our blood cells are made. And suppression, as you already know, means to keep down or keep low. So myelo suppression together then means decreased blood cells. So cytotoxic chemotherapy induced myelosuppression is just a fancy way to say low blood counts from chemotherapy. Now here's where nulasta or nupogen comes into play. There is a certain type of white blood cell called a neutrophil that's primary role is to fight infection. So if chemotherapy drugs kill most of your neutrophils, it can be dangerous. But alas, Nulasta is the superhero that comes to save the day. Nulasta is an injection given about 24 hours after the chemotherapy dose and kind of sends your bone marrow into hyperdrive to stimulate the growth and release of new neutrophils. So it pushes your counts back up to a safer range to protect you from infection and illness. Now, unfortunately, one of the side effects of these bone marrow stimulating drugs is bone pain, which happens to about 10 to 50% of the people receiving them. The reason why these drugs cause bone pain isn't perfectly understood, but it's thought that maybe it's an inflammation or histamine response in the bone marrow because it's working so hard. This bone pain can be anywhere from mild to really severe and can last from a couple of hours to a couple of days. So what do you do if you have this bone pain? Your doctor or nurse can give you a pain reliever and may even give you Claritin, which is an antihistamine, which has been shown in studies to help reduce this bone pain. You can also try things like massage and ice packs. That's fine. They will not make the problem go away faster, but they can certainly help reduce the amount of pain that you feel. Now, it's important to note that though you feel bone pain, there is no actual joint or bone damage happening. And though exercise will not be helpful with this pain, it's also not harmful. So as you exercise during chemotherapy, and you should be, the day after chemotherapy is a good day to exercise because that's the day people feel usually still pretty good. So if you know that Nulast is going to give you bone pain, try to get your exercise periods in before the injection. Or you can also change the mode of exercise that you do by switching up to either walking or swimming or bicycling or stretching or lifting weights, whichever feels better for you. But it is okay to exercise when you have that pain. Thank you for joining me in the recovery room for this fascinating discussion about cytotoxic chemotherapy-induced myelosuppression. Use that with your family at the dinner table tonight. I'm Dr. Leslie Walke. We'll talk again soon.